Hello, it's Don Michelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you two newer decks in my collection that I've been playing with um, the last you know week or two and that I've really been enjoying. So I wanted to do um, a flip through, a side by side comparison of these two decks. This is the uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot and the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot, both by Radley Valentine, both with illustrations by Dan Craig. Now, I recently uh, did a couple of videos talking about working with angels and my angel decks. And I had mentioned that, you know, one of the foundational angel decks in my collection has been this Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine, which up until getting these two decks was actually my favorite. Um, the thing that is kind of different between these decks is that I feel like these two actually represent more of a modern interpretation of uh, angel and tarot and combining that two energies together. But first I want to do a little bit of a flip through and then we're going to talk about kind of how we've been working with these two decks because I have actually been using them together along with some other decks. As always, there'll be timestamps in the description box below for you if you want to skip to any portion of the video. So before we jump into the side-by-side -side comparison, I do just have to say that the uh, presentation of these decks is quite beautiful. They're both by Hay House. I absolutely love Radley Valentine decks. I'm kind of like one of those, he's one of those creators that um, I really resonate with the way that he sees things. And even though um, we do have two totally different kind of styles, I feel like I get where he's going with his decks. And so I really enjoy working with them. Um, the cardstock is phenomenal. It is um, this gorgeous matte. It's nice and thin and flexible. I can riffle shuffle this. Um, I've put both of these decks back in order so we can do the flip through, but it's kind of traditional oracle size. Here's the back of the guardian angels, um, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous working deck, uh, which I really, really appreciate. So the Angel Wisdom Tarot, again, by the same creators, publishers, and all of that. Um, this has, it has a little bit of a different cardstock, which is interesting. Um, this feels more like the cardstock they have um, previous. Like, I, I think that maybe this one might be a little bit older. And this feels more like the cardstock that we see on, like, the Curious Creatures and those those new types of decks. Not quite as papery as some of them, um, but they're both really, really nice cardstocks. And they both shuffle really, really well. So all that being said, both decks are just an absolute pleasure to work with. Unlike some of the other Angel decks that I have, we don't have the... Um, angel name on it. However, there is an association to them on the angel wisdom tarot. And I don't believe there's a direct angel correlation in the guardian angel messages. So let's go ahead and take a quick flip through both of these decks. Um, you'll see that several of the titles have been renamed in this deck, which is really common for not only angel decks, but also for Radley Valentine decks. For the most part, I do like the, the renaming and it works really well for the deck. So we have the dreamer for the fool in both decks. And we're not going to take too terribly long in this flip through because really what I want to get to is talking about how I've been working with these decks together. So we have the Magician, which looks like actually might be the same model or the same representation in both decks, which is kind of interesting. We have our High Priestess, our Empress, our Emperor, We have the wise counselor in both decks in place of the hierophant, which actually I think works quite well in the context of this deck. We have the lovers and our chariot. Kind of funny, they're going towards each other. We have justice at position eight in both decks, which I really like to see and that's my preference. So I think it's really cool that we see that represented here in these two decks. We have the hermit. the wheel. And I do like that in both of these decks, um, they've taken off the of fortune part. Um, I really prefer just the title, the wheel. I feel like it's much more expansive. So here we have strength at 11. Awakening in place of our hanged man. 
We have release in place of death. Balance for temperance. Ego for the devil in both decks. Which I actually like that keyword. Transformation for the tower. The star. The moon. The sun. We have renewal for judgment. And the world. So moving into our minors, we have each suits represented by their elements, which I love. I think that's a great association. You'll see here in their setup, it's a little bit different. Again, we still have just the keyword on the uh, guardian angel, but we do have the uh, title of the card at the top. And in the angel wisdom tarot, there's quite a few associations going on um, on the card. At the top, we have the elemental association. Over here, we have the card number. Down here, we have the archangel that it's associated with. And here we have the major arcana card, which they call the wisdom cards that this card associates with. So a lot going on on the angel wisdom tarot in terms of the um, additional layers that we can add to working with these cards as well. So here we have our ace of fire our two of fire, our three, our four. And you can see that a lot of the um, associations and keywords line up in both of these decks. So we have our five, our six, our seven, eight of fire, Our nine of fire, our ten, our pages, knights, queens, and our kings. So moving along, we have our suit of water with our aces, our two of water, three, four, five of water, six of water, seven, eight, nine, ten, our page of water, our knight, queens, and our kings. Moving into our suit of air, we have our aces, two, three of air, and our fours, five, six of air, seven, eight, nine of air, and our tens, page, knight, our queens, and our king. And finally, we have our suit of earth with our aces, two, three, four, five, six of earth, our sevens, our eights, our nines, our ten, page, Knight, Queen, and King. 
Okay, so let's let's talk real quickly about um, each deck and what I like about each one. Um, this is the Angel Wisdom Tarot, and the thing that I really like about this deck is that we have not only an Archangel Association, which we don't necessarily see in this particular deck, um, we also have the message on the bottom, and that really helps it function more as an oracle. This deck to me feels like it exists a little bit more in a a uh, higher realm, kind of like if this were like the earth realm, and then we're going to take it up a notch to the um, angelic realm here in the angel wisdom, which I think works really well because kind of the vibe that this deck has or the energy that this deck has is um, wisdom coming from the angels down to earth. So we can kind of see it represented in that higher realm, kind of bringing it down into our realm. Whereas I feel like the other deck uh, really does kind of represent more of just being in the everyday world and then these uh, angels, these guardian angels are coming down to our level and meeting us where we are. And truth be told, I really like this deck better in terms of the artwork. I like the representation in it better. Um, I just feel like the way that each of the cards has been uh, depicted, the scene that's been chosen to be depicted, really resonates well with the energy of the cards. Not that it's not done well in this deck, but I just feel like this is a little bit more on the uh, earthly Malkuth plane if, of existence, if you will. And so I really, really like that about this deck. It feels more in the everyday where this feels a little bit more in the um, a little bit higher vibration. So in that sense, like they do have two totally different energies, even though, as you can see, um, and you probably saw through the walkthrough if you watch that, that a lot of the keywords and, and ideas align, but they have a different type of energy where, um, we're kind of existing more in slightly different um, energetic levels, I think. I also really like that the um, Guardian Angel Messages has the keywords on the bottom. And again, like I said, with the Angel Wisdom, we have the Oracle Message and the Archangel Associated. Like I was really unsure when I got them both, like if I was really gonna need both of them. And I think at this point, because of the way that I've been working with them, I really do feel like they each have a place in my collection and in my practice. So um, real quick, I keep trying to figure out if these are different card stocks. <laughs> They're very, very similar. Um, I do feel like this is just a tiny bit more papery, but I, I could be wrong. Um, these do shuffle quite well, so we're gonna go ahead and give each of them a shuffle. As you can see, even though it's oracle size, um, the cardstock is nice and thin and flexible, and so I am able to get a good ruffle out of these decks. Um, they both ripple shuffle beautifully. And I'm so grateful that they're not gilded. Um, I really, I'm not a fan of gilding, like in general, even if it's well done gilding, it's just not my favorite. So I'm real glad that these aren't gilded. If they were, it would be like, that adds to the deck, right? So that would be even harder to get my hands around. You can see it riffle shuffles beautifully. Um, I can overhand it nicely. It does clump a little bit, but not it's not sticky by any stretch of the imagination. And it could also be just because it's a little bit larger. It's oracle size. Okay, let me give this one a shuffle and then we'll talk about working with the decks. Okay, so backs... These are not my favorite, I'll just say, because I just really don't like all the cards around there. Um, these are fine. They're, they're pretty. Uh, these are reversible, and these technically are not because we have different um, color tones going on here on the top and bottom of these. Not a big deal to me, but if you do work with reversals, that's something to keep in mind. Full disclosure, neither one of these decks have left my table since I've got them. Granted, it hasn't been that long, but I have kept them out and I have been working with them quite a bit over the last few days. Um, the Guardian Angel messages I've been working with more. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a quick peek at the guidebooks because I like I don't use them. <laughs> like I feel like I don't need them um, with the, the information that's on the decks, but I do just want to show them to you really quick. So here's the Guardian uh, Angel messages, Tara. 
Um, I do really enjoy Radley Valentine's writings. So sometimes I get into the book just for fun, but I don't feel like I need it. And that's, that's fantastic. It's here if I want it. There's more information if I want it, but I don't have to get into it, which I, I actually quite like. So we have the introduction, how to work with the cards, the magical meaning of the cards, and then we have all of the cards listed out um, by their suit and number. And again, it's it's a lovely, lovely guidebook. So talking about our major arcana, talking about our different suits, and we have, you know, roughly a, a page or two. This is a small book, so two pages per card. We have about the card. Um, we have an angel message and additional meaning. And I think we have that, yes, same for the uh, majors, which is great. So this is fantastic if you need to get into this and you, you want some more information. I think this is a great little write-up. Like I said, I'm, I'm a fan of Radley Valentine's work and his writing. And so sometimes I do get into it just for fun, but it's not necessary, which I really appreciate. So here's the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Uh, again, really similar. You can see that I've gotten into this one more because this one actually talks about the associations on the cards as well. So we have how to work with it, a quick reference guide, the magical meanings, and again, the same kind of setup that we had in the others. And I think the introductory information um, in this particular little, little guidebook is great because again, it's talking about all the stuff that we're seeing on the cards. Um, it talks about the archangels in particular because each archangel, each card is associated with an archangel. So I really like that aspect of it. There are a few spreads in here, of course. For the majors, we have about the archangel, a little bit about the card and additional meanings. And then when we go into the uh, major minor arcana, we have again about the card, we have the additional meanings, and then we have the wisdom card, which is how it associates back to that major arcana. So again, it's got its own structure, which I really like. And I think that that does separate it and um, you know make it feel like something different than this particular guardian angel messages tarot. I do just also want to say that I really really like the artwork in in these decks. I am so so glad to see Radley Valentine get an artist or work with an artist that the artwork feels up to the caliber of the type of decks he creates and that's really no offense to the previous deck creators. Um, I just feel like this particular artist has kind of captured the everydayness of working with the angel energy that I feel like really comes through in Radley Valentine's work. Like he makes working with angels super approachable and I feel like this um, imagery really captures that. Whereas we didn't quite see that so much in some of the previous and certainly some of the older angel decks. Um, I also feel like this art looks better in person than it does on camera because I, I watched many, many videos about both of these decks because I'm like, mm, I like Radley Valentine's work, but you know, I don't always like the artwork um, on, on some of the decks and some of them I have anyway and I just, you know, I deal with it. <laughs> but I, I think this artwork is stunning. I was like the first time I, I looked through these decks and the first time I worked with them, I was just like, I was so pleasantly surprised by how beautiful this art is. And I don't think it looks as good on camera as it does in person. Um, I hope that my camera will do it justice, but you know, I just gotta, I just gotta point that out there that having watched videos on these decks for um, several months now, uh, various videos here and there, seeing pictures of it online, I just think it, it just doesn't capture quite online how soft and beautiful and detailed the artwork is until you really get it up close and personal. So I just wanna throw that out there because that's definitely something that uh, stood out to me. And like I said, I think at the beginning of this video, or maybe I just thought it, I'm completely smitten with these decks right now. So this is not an unbiased review or anything. Thing. Um, I, I do like them. There are certain things about each of the decks that I'm like, mm, doesn't quite resonate with me 100%, but like overall, they're super solid readers. And that's the thing about Radley Valentine decks, like even this Angel Tarot um, or the Archangel one or his Fairy one, all of those, like they don't necessarily have artwork that's my, my style. It's not my aesthetic, right? But they read beautifully. And these decks feel like they have all of that going on, right? They read beautifully and they have beautiful art and they have Radley Valentine's beautiful energy and messages in them. And it's just like, it's the whole, it's the whole package now, which is so fantastic. 
Okay, so enough gushing about the decks. Let's talk about how I've been working with them. So I've been using the um, Angel Wisdom Tarot as an oracle, essentially. So I'm gonna set that here in the middle and I'm gonna show you just a couple of different ways that I've been working with these two decks together. Um, again, using the Angel Wisdom Tarot as more of an oracle and I've been doing kind of my typical three card. We don't need quite that many, so let's just split it right there. We got victory in the center. And then I do kind of, you know, my usual three card configuration where I have my focus, um, usually what to uh, embrace and what to release, right? That's kind of my go-to. Again, I think these two decks together function really well in this way because we have the tarot associations are very strongly represented in the guardian uh, angel messages tarot. And I feel like the Wis Angel Wisdom Tarot definitely functions more in that Oracle sense as far as the having the messages on there. And I love that in this particular deck, we also have the Archangel Association. So we can pull that in as well and then get kind of like our tarot message with the Guardian Angel messages around it. Um, together, they, they work beautifully. They're different enough that they can each fulfill a function on their own the art style because it's by the same artist is cohesive the messages because they're by the same creator are very cohesive and they just really really work beautifully together so that's one of the ways that i've been working with them i'm just kind of pulling three cards uh for you know my daily a daily kind of card pull like what what do i need to know today so i've been doing kind of my traditional you know three card three card reading thing uh, with these two decks. But another thing that I've been doing with these decks in particular, and actually I have a third deck that I pull into this little configuration, and that is the uh, Mara, Luna, Mara Luna Tarot. I just feel like this beautiful uh, little indie deck with its really soft watercolor messages, um, it brings a sense of kind of wonder and softness and kind of like feels like it's in that heart space kind of a kind of a message with these particular cards um, i'm going to give this one a shuffle because i did just do a reading with it not too long ago uh, this is an indie deck that i i purchased this one off make playing cards which is the uh, standard superior smooth i have edged mine um, but it's also available on Game Crafter in the linen cardstock, which honestly I wish I would have known about because that's the, per the version I would have purchased. Um, but I'll leave both linked for you in the description box below, along with links for these two decks if you want to check them out. So one of the ways that I've been working with these uh, decks together for larger readings is I've been using these three decks kind of in combination where I have been pulling the guardian angel messages as the foundation for each position but it also works really well with just kind of like an earth air fire water uh, where we're getting kind of a an energetic look at, at whatever's going on or just for the day um, because the suits are all elemental based i feel like that works really well so let's just do that so we have earth i got earth and earth earth air fire how weird is this water oh i didn't get a water there that would have been so cool earth air fire water so that's the other thing about doing these elemental readings like this is like when you get the card from the element to that in the position it's in is like really really cool so in water i have the sun but that's really cool. You'd think I'd plan that, but I, I really didn't. I promise. Okay, so I have these these down for my uh, positions, right? And this works with any any type of any type of spread. It you can use it with a three card. You can use it with a specific tarot spread, like if you find one online or out of a book or something. Um, you can also just do it as a check in. There's also like a larger check in spread that I like to do sometimes um, with this particular these particular decks, but just looking at this elemental spread here. So what I'm looking at is the foundational energy of each of these positions. And I'm using the keywords primarily, but also paying attention to the tarot associations in case those do have some relevance. And then what I do is I pull um, a just a standard tarot deck. I, this is the one that I like to use for 
this, or I should say this is the one that I have been using because again, these are fairly new decks. Well, this is not new, but these two angel decks are fairly new in my collection and I'm still getting to know them. I'm still working with them, still playing with them, um, but I'm really, really enjoying them. And I pull cards from them every single day now. <laughs> so um, what I like to do is pull a card to get some deeper information about each of those positions. So for um, Earth, we have the Fool. For Air, we have the Queen of Wands. For Fire, we have the Six of Wands. And for uh, Water, we have the Nine of Swords. So what this is telling me, let's kind of try to get them to layer up here, um, is in each of these elemental positions, this is kind of the foundation of the of the energy. And then this is kind of like what I need to know about it. And that's sort of how these function together for me. So we'll have the um, the night of air or really looking at those keywords. So in earth, it's about being organized, responsible and supportive. That's the, the mode that I'm in right now. And the fool is my card in association with that. So that tells me that's where I need to be distributing that energy or that's what I need to be tapping into. And so I'll look at what each of these um, cards say together in their position using the keywords as kind of like the foundational energy for that position. So in air, um, the foundational energy is relief, hope and moving on. And here I have the queen of wands. So that tells me how I can go about doing that. And then what I like to do is pull the angel wisdom tarot for a message. And you can use um, any sort of, you know, messaging or any sort of position for this. Um, I, again, I'm a big fan of what to release and what to embrace. Um, there was also that one that went around in the nine card spread, which was like what's helping you, what's hindering you. That's another great one. But I like to just kind of do like, this is what I need to know moving into this. So this is the uh, message for coming into this energy. So we have um, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment and family, you know, such and such, reading that message on the, on the card. So that's telling me this is the energy moving into this and then what is gonna come out of that. That's funny, I got the ace of earth. So a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, good fortune, an exciting career opportunity. And so this is kind of how I've been working with these in a general kind of overview sense in a, as a check-in that can also be, you know, very specific to something going on in my life. And I think that these all work really, really well for that. So we have the four elemental positions providing that foundational energy with the guardian angel messages the kind of how do I incorporate that or what do I do with it or what do I need to know about it with the Mara Luna, so a second tarot deck. And then I have the angel wisdom that I'm using as the, this is the message for coming into this work and this is the message for what's gonna come out of it. And so I've been doing that um, quite a bit for various things, working with these decks together. And I just wanna show you one more. So one, one more just little kind of fun spread that I like to do with, um, these, well, in particular, these three decks together is to pull one of the guardian angel messages. So I got the five of air with mistakes, melodrama, and resentment. So all of these have three keywords. So can you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> three keywords. All right. So mistakes, melodrama, and resentment. And so I use the tarot deck to further expand upon those keywords and to see, okay, what, what do I need to know about that? So I'm basically using five of air as my foundational energy for my reading. And then I've got my three keywords, which are gonna provide my positions essentially for my spread. So let's go ahead and pull cards for mistakes, nine of pentacles, melodrama, 10 of cups and resentment, five of wands. So this is telling me like where in my life, maybe I'm making some mistakes, um, where I'm being a little bit dramatic. And I love that the 10 of cups is there in that position. That's just kind of funny. And then where am I having some, um, I think I said resentment, re reassessment. Where do I need to reassess things is in the five of wands. Sorry, I read that wrong. Mistakes, melodrama, reassessment. Interesting that I read resentment in that, right? 
So then I like to take a uh, angel wisdom tarot. And so this is my message. This is what's going on. Okay, so what do I need to do about it, right? What's my advice card for this? And I like the angel wisdom tarot for that. And my advice card is the sun, a time of great joy and success, brilliant ep epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, and gratitude to the divine. So my advice would be to, to put the plans into action that are going to resolve this and bring some of that um, joy and, and light and happiness. So that's the main way that I've been working with these two decks together so far. Um, like I said, I, I love the artwork. It's just... It's so fitting. It's so fitting for these decks. It's so nice to see. Um, I, I do really like this deck kind of functioning more as an oracle. Yes, it does have tarot associations. It does kind of, in a sense, also read a little playing card. Um, I just, in these, the minor arcana, like it just has a little bit of a playing card feel to it. But I in particular love the messages and I love the Archangel Association that are is associated with each card. And you can also pull in the Major. So there's like more you could do here. And I just think this deck has, has a lot of potential um, because there's so much, so many different layers that you can tap into uh, with this particular deck. And so I, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this one because I, this was the one that I wasn't really sure that I was going to need or was planning on keeping. Uh, this deck, I knew the kind of the moment I opened it. This is the, again, the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot that, that I was keeping it, that it was going to be probably, I hate to say a replacement for my original Angel Tarot cards um, because I won't ever actually replace that deck. Kind of a sentimental deck in my collection, so I can't imagine it ever going anywhere. But this is the deck that I'm reaching for um, in place of that. And it's just, it isn't a substitute, but it is kind of, right? It's, it feels like these, these decks, these newer decks with their more modern um, art styles, their more modern illustrations, and just this beautiful, soft, cohesive energy that feels very in alignment uh, with Radley Valentine's work from my own personal perspective, of course. It just, it feels like it's finally kind of come together in a really beautiful, cohesive uh, working package that kind of brings all the different elements together in a really, really beautiful way. Again, I, I get asked a lot, like if you could only choose one, which one would you choose? I would definitely choose the Guardian Angel Messages um, that, that one's definitely my favorite, but I feel like they both actually have a very unique structure and energy that lend themselves to be um, independent parts of my practice. And so I'm definitely planning on keeping both. This is definitely the deck that I've worked with more and have used for more uh, situations. Again, the Angel Wisdom, I'm kind of treating like an Oracle deck. And so in that sense, it works really beautifully for that. So I want to thank everybody who had mentioned when I did my angel deck video that I should check these out because it was really all of your comments that made me go, hmm, maybe I do need to take a second look at those. Again, I watched some more videos and the artwork I think is just much more impressive in person and they're just absolutely beautiful. So thank you to everyone who reached out to let me know that these would be a good fit for me. You were definitely right and I'm so glad that I was able to bring them into my collection to be able to work with them. I'll probably talk about them again in my monthly wrap-up because again they're decks I'm working with this month. As always you'll find links for everything that I've talked about here in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to sharing with you again soon.